This is my latest power bank, small power bank from One Below Shop, £5, August 22. It's rated 2500 milliampers, which is 2.5 amperes. But of course, I'm getting a lot less than that, as is typical for all lithium ion batteries, in my opinion. Nothing special, 5 volts and 1 amp which equals 5 watts, which is the standard tortoise pace, which the default s speed, almost all of them will come at that sort of wattage at this price. It's got a button here, which is supposed to tell you, I suppose, if it's got energy left in it. And when I double click it, it goes off. If I click it, it stays on. For a while anyway, a minute or something. But uh, what I find is, even if it's really it's empty and it's got one milliampere left, it will go blue. So I've not found it much use so far for that device. So it charges up at 5 volts, 1 amp, which is 5 watts. And it you use it at 5 volts, 1 amp as well to charge up your phone or whatever. So that's 5 volts, 1 amp, 5 watts, which is the typical slow speed that most of them go at. This is a type B connection as you would expect. Type A there, type B here. New phones are type C, which is a new type of connection. But most of these sort of devices, like power banks, still have type B, especially the cheap ones. Of course, this Type B is only when you're charging it up, you use that input, so it doesn't really matter. You can still uh, charge your phone if it's Type C from that, the Type A to Type C connection. So that's just when you're charging it up, so it doesn't really matter. The Poundland one's the same. Here's the latest Poundland one for comparison. That's 2200, I think says advertised this is says 2500 but like all lithium ion batteries I wasn't getting anywhere, anywhere near that I'll just do a voltage check it's nearly 5 volts there's no amp because there's nothing connected to it here I'll charge up my phone <laughs> It goes a bit higher than that, though. usually it goes about 0 0.95, I've got listed here, oh that's when I'm charging it up actually, this is me using it, yeah usually I get about, it's the black ones here, 0 0.9, 0 0.8 amp, maybe my phone's nearly fully charged, it's slowing down but yeah I get about 0 0.9, 0 0.8 amps. Here I'm getting 0 0.53. I'll try the Poundland one, just to double check. Yeah, that's doing the same at the moment. It must be my phone that's slowing the ampage down to, because it's probably nearly charged. This is the stats from using it twice. This is what it's charging up to, 1685 milliampers. That's 1.6 amperes. 1.7 amp hours and that's about I just calculated it um, it's meant to go up to 2500 but they never do so but that's not so good usually I expect them to be about 74% but I think that's a bit lower and then actual use this is what I'm getting when I charge my phone 1.1 amp hour 1.1 amp hour so that's way below 2,500, that's like 40% or something. So I'm not so happy about that, but it's pretty typical at least this level of pain. There's the volts I've been getting around, basically. Here I'm charging, it's 4.89. This is out, yeah, 4.9. And then when I've been charging it up, it's been 5.1, 4.99, but really all you want is around 5, 
for that. Amp is a bit more important, you want higher, but you're not expected to go over one amp here. One amp would be perfect, and here, when it was charging up, it was 0 0.95, 0.94, which is pretty good. And then when it was actually using it, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, yeah, and here it's 0 0.9 now, so my phone's adapted. So, 0 0.91, but that's pre pretty typical. This will be the same, the Poundland one, generally. Yeah, there's nothing in the packaging really that helps. Maybe it had a really flat bit. About 80 grams, quite heavy. It's a sort of metallic, it's made of metal. Here's a Poundland one for comparison. It's a plastic, 63 grams. I prefer the Poundland one. Did I say it was five pound? I'm not happy about that. It didn't have a price on the shelf and I thought it would be three pound. It wasn't until I looked outside because they had a, a 4000 milliamp hour one at five pound and I, I wish I'd bought that now. Even if it was poor quality, it would have still given me about 2,000 milliamps hours. All these type of power banks are probably based on the 18650 lithium ion 3.7 volt battery, which looks like the an AA battery, you know. But this is made of nickel, nickel MH, I can't remember what that means. So you can't, you can't exchange them, they're not the same. This is this is a 1.5 volt thing but it's just to give you an idea of the shape that's the sort of battery they're using so it might be that they're all using the same battery inside and the you know the shell case that's the only thing that differs but probably not but they might be but I don't think so I'm disappointed with this one because I think this one even though it's 2200 I was getting about 55% out of it so I'm probably getting the same as what I'm getting out of that. That was three pound at Penland. This says it does two thousand five hundred, but so far I've been getting one thousand one hundred. So that's a bit below par. That's like forty percent or something, and that's what I bought it for really. But um, I'm sad now. Two thousand six hundred is about how much you can expect these things. The capacity at the moment in the shops. I have seen ones on AliExpress for 3000 milliamp hours. That's 3 amp hours for 18650 batteries but you can even make your own power bank now. You can buy the shell case online on eBay or Amazon but it looks as not as easy as I thought. There's a few obstacles you need to look out for. You want them Apparently if you put the battery in the wrong way around it fries the circuitry of the shell case so that's you damaged it even before you've used it and also a lot of them don't seem to have reverse polarity when they're charging which means if your device has more charge in it than your power bank it might start flowing the other way back into the power bank or oh, that's how I think a reverse polarity is and there's probably a few other things like they don't tell you how high the shell case can withstand capacity like if it's 2600 and you buy a 3000 milliamp hour battery it may not work, it might fry it so there's, there's a lot of obstacles I've still to understand about buying a shell case and just buying a lithium ion battery one that looks like this but this is nickel so that's not the same. Lithium ion works at 3.7 volts. But they are like this, the AA batteries. And another thing to look out for is some of them are flat top and some of them are button top. So you'll get that confusion as well. Like you might buy a shell case for a flat top and you might buy a button top lithium ion. Well it won't fit. So for the moment I'm suggesting stick with this. It's it's only 2,200 but you're getting about 50% out of it I think, 
you need to look at my other video actually because I can't remember. This one was £5, that one was £3. And I'm only getting 1,100 out of that anyway, so yeah, I'm not so happy. And it's heavier. I don't like the metallic feel. I bought this colour just so that I know one power bank from the other. But I think I prefer plastic anyway, it's lighter. Yeah. I'll need to check the home bargains and see what they're up to. I suppose these smaller capacity batteries are becoming a bit outdated. Well, for mobile phones anyway, because a mobile phone nowadays is like 4 amperes battery. So if you've got one that does 1 ampere power bank, that's only a quarter of your mobile phone. But then it'll be good for small things like ear pods and whatever. And for, you know, just panic uh, if you're out and you need a quick charge. But nowadays, I suppose you're really looking for... 2 amperes or 4 amperes to charge your phone really but I suppose I've not got them small enough yet there is a smaller size of, of these batteries you know the lithium ion type but so far even though the capacity is getting up say about 2 amperes I don't know the power banks don't seem to be built that way yet so because if you did get that, it would be a really small power bank. It would it'd be about that size. Because they're using a smaller battery. I can't remember the number. It's 1-4 something. With their mine. Also, the do-it-yourself do it ones aren't any cheaper. They're probably a bit more expensive. The shell case, the cheapest I could see, was £4. And that's, you still have to buy a battery. So I suppose, really, for price, you can't beat the bottom of the market. You know, the cheap ones because they're buying them in bulk and you just can't get that sort of price for a DIY but for this power bank well it costs five pound I'm not happy about that but I'm getting about 1100 but I didn't expect a hundred percent anyway I only expected about 55 percent but but I prefer this one from Poundland as for constant use who knows this is a I've hardly used that. I've only used that about five times. Who knows what it's like in the long term. Goodbye.